Now I'm going to ask you to get even more real. Funerals harder than tours. I, my opinion. Cancer, COVID, funerals. What's harder? Funerals. I did over 1,500 funerals. Golly. That, because I was so young at that time. Yeah. So young. They put all this responsibility on me, man. It was just... Yeah. No, honestly, I think the cancer... COVID sucked. Because I caught COVID while I was on chemo. Yeah. And the doctors told me, like, yeah, I don't think you're going to make it. Your immune system's compromised, you know. But I, I pretty much, I struggled about two or three days, and that was it. Cancer, it ate me up knowing my son was going through a hard time with it. Yeah. He was five years old at the time. Oh, wow. And when I lost my hair, he just, every single day for two months, just crying, thinking I was going to die. And that, to me, like, my last two, I, still I can't imagine that. That, that. that was the hardest thing. But funerals, I think funerals affected me, shit, dude, coming up on 20 years. Yeah. And it's still affecting me to this day. Where now I see my son and he just, every single day, just, Daddy, you didn't die, or your dad, you got your hair back. That means you're not sick. Yeah. You know, he's happy now. It's like, he's going to forget that that part. Right. He's not, He when he gets older, he's not even knowing. He's, he was young enough. Yeah, he was young. Know. Now he's just, he's happy that I'm yeah. doing good. And I'm, I hope that, you know, they tell me within five years. Yeah. After five years, if that cancer doesn't come back, more likely it's never going to come back. Yeah. The funeral is going to stay with me the rest of my life.